Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. Beginning of a new week, so you know what that means. That means we have to catch up on all the news that happened this weekend. We got some teasers on two maps, Welkers and Green River, now in mods. Not a bad day either. The map from Farming Simulator 17 has come out, Gold Crest Valley, so we will be going over that, plus a bunch of other new mods. Remember, if you do like this video, to smash that like button. Talked enough. Roll that intro. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Welcome back. Okay, so that first piece of news to go over for the beginning of the new week is from AMG Agri Modding. Some more tractors are soon going to be joining the fleet. Some more Mossy Ferguson. So if you guys are a fan, this is going to be your pack right here. But anyways, he has made the Steve Bonnet Gen 1 and Gen 2, the short frame Gen 1 and Gen 2, and the large frame Gen 1 and Gen 2 on that. Plus, he also featured a weights, I think it was a couple weeks ago. So that will be also coming out soon too. So basically, he has said, you're going to get nearly as many tractors as the latest DLC. That's crazy right there. And yes, this will be coming to all platforms. After that, we got some news from Lancy Boy, Lancy Boy, Lancy Boy. Well, here it is, word for word. He had to say, hey, everyone, he is back now from his break. To get back into swing of modding again, he has made a traditional standard English barn pack. Each design barn will have different color options. Also, his workshop pack is still pending after four weeks. Giants must be busy. So this pack has been uploaded to the mod up. So in total, there are eight different styles of placeables coming new to all platforms. And now he has started work back up on Stone Valley 22, which I know a lot of people can't wait for that. Also, he had to say this, the machinery barn you see right there, the cones are movable. After that, we got a little bit of an update from Mapper's Paradise and their Welker's Farm. They had this to say, hopefully a couple weeks and we can send the map in for testing. So they are getting closer and closer right there. As you see from this picture, this is the second yard. They had this to say, the second yard is filling up nicely, don't you think? Then another map on the list is from the NLD community. Just a little bit of a tease on it right here, as you see from these pictures right here. Also, they have this to say that they hope that the release for this map will be before summer, but can't promise anything, unfortunately. So fingers crossed that this does come out before this summer. Would love to play on this one and Stone Valley. Then now on to the last piece of news for today, and this is from Rooster Mods and the release of the John Deere 1075 hay wagon, but it is only released for PC players. So if you guys head on over to his Facebook page, you guys can go ahead and download it right now. But he has submitted it to the mod hub, so soon, hopefully, it will pass. He has actually done it like this because, of course, the long wait times for mods right there. Anyways, this is a hay wagon built on a set of John Deere 1075 running gear. The gear is modeled as accurately, accurately as possible, riding on 10 by 16 rims with a 12.5 liter and 16 tires. The hay rack itself is 9 feet wide and 18 feet long. The mod features, let's see, the price for it is $8,000. You get the choice between straps or small square bale auto loading, options for older or newer style deer logos, option for SMV triangles, removable head rack, different kind of wood including oak, poplar, or hemlock along with paint options, a rear hitch for pulling in tandem, and also to use it, you have to toggle to the wagon and turn on operating condition just like on a bale loader. So that is amazing. I cannot wait for this. Hopefully this comes and of course their John Deere 348 baler. Hopefully both of those come out to all platforms. But anyways guys, that is all the news for today. Let's go over and take a look at the new mods and maps we got today. Welcome to the new mod showcase part of the video. Usually Mondays are pretty small when it comes to new mods, not today. Today we got 26 new mods and updates to go over. For all platforms, we got two new maps plus 14 other mods. Also for all platforms, we got three new updates. Now on PC only, we got seven new mods and one new update. Got a lot to go over, so here we go. Okay, so here we go with the first map that's available on all platforms, and it is Gold Crest Valley 22. If you've been playing Farming Simulator for a while, you guys remember this map. This was available on, well, Farming Simulator 17 and Farming Simulator 19 as a mod. This was actually in the base game of Farming Simulator 17, that first American map we played. But anyways, this is Welcome to Gold Crest Valley. This is a conversion of Gold Crest Valley from base map from FS17. Map contains 33 fields, 7 cell points including train cell point, 
wood train cell point, five production buildings, sawmill, six purchase purchasable forest, and new player mode. You get a pre-built farm with the cow barn, sheep barn, chicken barn, and machines. Uh, this is by Colope. Spooky, I think that's how you say that. Uh, size is 140 megabytes, so let's get into this. Remember, this is gonna be just a quick overview of the map, and wow, this brings back a lot, a lot of memories. Wow, this channel actually actually started off with Farming Simulator 17, so that was a while back ago, and actually, I think, yeah, next month is actually this channel's five year anniversary. Jeez, it's been that long, wow. All right, anyways. This is exactly where you start off, and yeah, yeah some things have changed, because like that wasn't there right there, I know that. And this thing was a little bit different, but it is pretty much the same. Wow. All right, so here is your starting farm. Got that house right there. I don't remember if this is the house. I don't think so. And of course, the old truck. Okay, starting vehicles on here. Let's go right over to here. You get three medium tractors, you get the 4755, the 7810 and the MF3670. Harvesters, of course, has to be the DF4090. Always with that harvester, right? Uh, cars, the pickup 1986. Trailers, the DK115. Header trailer, the 4090 header. Cultivators, the EG39. The Cedar, the HK25. Uh, you get two weights on here. Uh, header trailer, the 49er trailer. Uh, Bailers, you get the Impress 125F Pro. Uh, you get a forge wagon, the Boss Alpine uh, 251. Uh, wind rowers, the top 342. Tedders, the Alpine Hit 4.4. Uh, 4. And last but not least is a mower GMD 4411. So you pretty much set off to do, you know, animals and all that. So that's a plus right there. And yeah, wow. <laughs> it just brings back a lot of memories. And the vehicle placement is like spot on, seriously. All we need now is a little, little bit eye icon right here, you know, for the tutorial. It brings back a lot of stuff. <laughs> yep, and I remember that little bit shed over there. Man, I remember, jeez. Wow. Okay, it looks like we have our silo right here. Now, that is different than the silo that was on there. Uh, but we do have a silo right there. And let's see, you should start off with three fields. Yes, you do. You start off with 44. Ooh, my controller's. Yeah, this controller's been messing up a lot for some reason. You start with 14, 15, and 12. And there is the map right there. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I thought you were supposed to start off with like cow barn and all that stuff. But I don't see one. Uh, usually I believe the sheep one was like right over here. Oh, you know, the sheep one was right over here, I believe. Somewhere over here. Yeah, like right here. Uh, the cow barn. I don't remember where the cow barn is. It's been a while. I did not actually play this on FS19, so yeah. Um, we're just going to have to discover all this stuff. Okay, but anyways, the crops are the regular crops you usually get. You do have factories, I believe, on here. Yep, we have a dairy, we have a bakery, we have um, a spinnery, anything else? Um, and like you see right there, the train, and this is this is something actually different. The train used to actually, like right here, used to actually come down because, uh, well, you used to be able to complete the whole track. Now it looks like you can't. Looks like it will go to Elm Creek. Okay, Elk, Elm Creek. Uh, you got the sugar mill right over there. Um, Where's the sawmill? Sawmill and everything is right over here. I uh, got some more fields right up there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Yeah, this brings back a lot of memories. This also used to be a place where you could sell your uh, stuff, but it looks like now it is a storage area. The door open? Nope, that door does not open. But nice little storage area. But these doors, these doors probably don't open either. Nope. Okay, right, let's actually go take a look at the shop. I just want to see if the shop is almost the same. Uh, clever Motors. So the shop is from the new one. So that is definitely different. Remember, there used to be a little bitty trick over here where you used to be able to get lots and lots of money on FS17. Where you're basically, I forget how, how it actually worked. I think you just put a vehicle in there and you could just keep going back and forth and actually selling it. So you could basically have a big old money cheat. 
Yeah, but this one you should be able to go into. Okay, maybe not. Looks like you can't go into this one. Which, that is weird, because on the base game, you can go into it. At least I believe you can. If I'm not mistaken, you can. And now, I, now I have to actually check that out later. Alright, okay, but anyways, here is your shop. Buy vehicles from there. Repair them right over here. Here is another sell point right over here, the bowling alley. So this shopping center is a lot different. Well, it's been like five years, so maybe they, you know, got rid of the shopping center, put a new uh, motor place in, put a bowling alley in, uh, Cody's toy store. So this probably means that there is collectibles actually on this map too. So uh, got a taco place. Uh, anything else? Uh, oh, there's, okay, maybe not. There's two toy stores, so... Maybe there isn't collectibles. The road looks a little bit different. Here's the main, wow, they are speeding on this road. Let's see if they do it again. Any more cars? Try not to get hit by traffic. Traffic ain't too bad. Got a little park over here. Okay, I just wanna see how fast they're going. Oh yeah, they are going way fast, guys. So definitely be careful when you're on this road you will probably get hit <laughs> okay I, like i said i don't see where the animal placeables are let me see something okay it says that we have a cow barn large uh sheep barn large and a chicken pasture but where are they because i don't see them actually on the map hmm see so you own this area right here wait actually Hold on, let me uh, let me go to this bail cell point right over here. Yeah, okay, here is the sheep pen. Okay, maybe they did put the uh, pens back to where they were. Wow, this brings back some memories. Okay, so I believe there is a pig pen right up here, if I'm not mistaken. It's right by the by the biogas. Okay, here's the biogas plant, so it has to be right over here. Now, the cow barn, that I don't remember where exactly that was. Okay, but anyways, here is the sheep pen right here. And this is, uh, well, looks really good. Okay, how many sheep can this thing hold? This thing can hold 150 sheep. So not bad on that. And this is, this is of course, is a placeable from the uh, from FS22. I do like how they did this. Okay, got a little bit uh, storage area right over here. Huh. Okay, but anyways, this was a quick tour of Goldcrest Valley. Let me know if you guys are planning on playing this. And also let me know if you guys would actually like to see maybe like a Let's Play or a live stream on this map. Let's get to the second map released for today. Okay, for the second map for today for all platforms, this is Kreebok. This is from Dur Joggy. This is 250 megabytes. This also does require the Bavarian Farm Pack mod. But anyways, welcome to Kreebok map, a map born purely out of imagination is a small map where you can find work and relaxation at the same time on an old established farm. What awaits you on the map? There will be 20 fields and five meadows, various outlets and productions, small BGA, a complete farm with animals, horses at the horse farm. You can take water from the ponds, forests for, three, for tree hoppers among you are plentiful. So let's get into this map. Okay, here is exactly where you start off and as you see the Bavarian, pap, uh, Bavarian pack can't even speak about I love that hill right there you see that like how it's oh this map actually looks really nice okay let, let's actually take a look at the fields so you see right there there is 26 fields I think so uh, we have a large greenhouse over there um, we have a sawmill we have a dairy we have a bakery we have a GL W dealer, a biogas plant. What else do we have over here? Uh, is that one? Nope. Uh, pig food mixer. Hmm. Okay. Um, diesel co-op. And then right over here, we have the grain mill. Is this the, sh this shouldn't be the shop, is it? No, that's a workshop. Where's the shop at? Oh, right there. Okay. So here is your starting farm. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot different than I'm used to. But anyways, the vehicles we start off with on here. Small tractors, you only get the favorite 511C, that's it. Wow, you start off really small. Get a Nova 330, so at least that's different. Front loaders, you get the 2630. Trailers, the Z18051. Dolly, yeah. 
headers, the Power Stream 500, manure spreaders, the TA 12050, slurry tanks, the Super Chris 800, forge wagons, you get the Balsa Alpine 251, animals, you get the RA 142, a forge mixer, and weights, you get the FGB 600. So you actually start off really small in here. All right, right over here we have, let me bring up this real quick. We have a silage pit to make some silage. Got some areas to put some stuff down. This is a really nice silo right over here. Turn on shed lights. Wow. You got a little bit of area right over here. Is this for your cows? Probably is. Uh, man, there's lots and lots of doors. There's a milking machine. How many cows can go in here? There could be 45 cows. So let's let's just put some cows in here real quick. I don't know about you guys, but this is a nice pen right here. Wow. Okay, so here's the rest of the farm. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this area. I love how you can just do that. And then right over here, you can see your cows outside. Got some more storage right over here. And of course, you got shed lights with everything. But the cool thing is, I love this little bitty hill that they made up here. Go right up here. Open the door. And look, a hayloft right here. So you can put a whole bunch of your bales up here. And then, you know, just throw them down there and you can feed your animals. That is nice. Okay, what is this area right here? Oh, it looks like another animal area. This is your sheep area, which holds up to 25 sheep. I kind of wish this thing can hold a little bit more sheep, but it is what it is. Uh, got some storage for some pallets right over here. Doors all opened up. And this looks like maybe your feed area right here. Oh, right here is your feed area. What is this? Maybe your wool area? And there's the sheep. Love like the old, old look on this farm. Okay, so that pretty much is the farm. Uh, I do want to take a look at that pig, uh, that pig food mixer. Uh, slurry thing right over here. Don't take a shower. Uh, don't take a bath in there. Okay. Uh, open this up, and there goes my controller again. Ah, uh, this dang controller. All right, there we go. Back again. Uh, we also have manure pit right there. Um, I think that's about it on this farm. Got some storage racks right over here. Turn on shed lights. That's pretty high for that, actually. Huh. Okay, so that is pretty much your main farm. I love the clock tower over there. All right, let's go over to your pig food mixer. So this is your pig food mixer right here. Uh, looks like no active uh, storage is empty. So what do you put in there? Doesn't tell you what what you put actually in there. Um, let me go to production see if it shows anything. Uh, oh yeah, there we go right there. So you put in chaff, potatoes, and sugar beets, and you get two thousand liters of pig food. Oh, you also got a farm food mixer. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, so you put in silage, hay, mineral feed, and straw, and you get, of course, your total mixed rations. And then, of course, you got your large greenhouse, which we'll take a look at that in a second. And here is your uh, your harvester. Oh, yeah, the fields you get. Let's see. Let's go over to here. You get, actually, you get five and four. It's not bad. And this should be some storage. Let's open up that one. Yep, some storage is all empty. And this looks like an animal placeable. Uh, but for which animal? Uh, where is the trigger at? Trigger's gotta be around here somewhere. This is probably horses. And am I stuck? No, I'm not stuck. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, this is actually for your pigs, which this thing can hold up to 108 pigs. Alright, so that is this farm right over here. Let's go over and actually take a look at these fields right here. I just want to see how big these fields are. So if we go down over here, here is your field four. It's decent size, but you could easily, you know, sit there 
and buy, uh, you already have this field in field four, so you can sit there, get rid of these trees, and basically plow these two fields together, and then, you know, you buy field six, and then you can plow all three of these together, and this would be one decent sized field right here. Okay, let's see the shop real quick. So if we go down over to the shop, here is your vehicle shop. Looks like a Clever Motors one. Uh, let's see if you can go in this thing. Okay, maybe you couldn't go in it. Maybe I was wrong on that earlier. Here is the town right here. Oh, this is called... Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Got another station right over here, probably for fuel. Love the town. Okay, but anyways, this is Quebec. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section below. Let's get to the regular mods now. Okay, so the first mod to talk about for today is this one right here. This is the Zeter 627745. This is from Smeddy. But anyways, this is 59 horsepower, so it's very small. Manual transmission, 55 liters of fuel, 19 miles an hour, 3.7 tons. $10,000, so it is actually pretty, pretty cheap. And configuration's got a lot of stuff. Let's see, wheel brand, you got Trailborg, Continental, Vritistine, Trailborg, you got Standard, Standard 2, wheel weights, wheel weights 2, rear twin wheels, narrow tires, and then back to Standard. Continental uh, looks like pretty much the same. Vridistine looks pretty much the same. And then we're back to there. Uh, mud guards. Let's see. We got... Come on. Let's go over. Oops. Pressing the wrong button. We got three right there. Uh, we got back to one. Uh, front fenders. You got one, two, or no. Uh, hood. You got one, two, three, or one. Uh, series, you have the 2UR1, you got the 92UR1, the 2UR1, and okay, it's just back and forth. Uh, exhaust, you got 1, 2, uh, design, no, 1, 2, 3, and then back to no. Beacon, no or yes. Attacher, standard, 140 kilogram front weight, 350 kilogram front weight, 3 points, and then back to standard. Front loader attached, no, quickie, hower. Uh, it just said the 6245, which is 59 horsepower. The 7245, which is 66. The 7745, which is 73. The 7745 turbo, which is 81. So this thing goes up to 81 uh, horsepower. Uh, main colors, you got red, orange, bluish, green, black. Pretty much any color you really want. Design color. It's pretty much the same thing too which changes the top of the cab and then of course you got the room color so let's go ahead and get this one real quick so here it is in game i highly suggest don't get these two colors now let's go ahead and get in it real quick anything happen nope okay let's see lights one two three three sets of lights turn signals yep okay let's see horn Nothing on there. Can be quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Not bad on that either. Oh yeah, let's go in here. Let's turn it on. See everything turns over. Lights. Everything lights up. Everything moves too. Okay, top speed is 21 miles an hour. Let's see if we can hit it before we hit that wall. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It is taking a minute to go. Oh, okay, there we go. Kicking the afterburners, and we made it. This is a very spacious cab, I can tell you that. This ain't bad, actually. Make this a farmyard tractor. Love the sounds on it. Hmm. I'm really liking that one right there. That is the Zeter 627745. After that, we have the Tatra Phoenix from the same modder. This is from Smetty. Uh, let's see, this is 462 horsepower, manual transmission, 440 liters of fuel, 49 miles an hour, 10.8 tons. Twin radials are on this right now. It is $110,000. Let's see, Wilburn, you got Trailborg, Michelin, BKT, Continental. Trailborg, you got just standard. I think it's just standard on all of them. Yeah, just standard. Uh, design, no or yes, which, wow, puts a lot of stuff added onto that. Yeah. Okay, and then let's see. Attachers, you got standard attacher. You got trailer hitch. You got front and rear. What does the front one do? Huh. Now, it'd be something if you could put a three-point hitch on that. That'd be nice. Engine setup, you got the Phoenix 6x6, which is 462. 
the Phoenix 6x6 aggro truck, which is 462. Oh, this just changes the transmission. You're either variable or manual. Uh, let's see, main colors, you have any color you want, and rim color, the same thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here it is in game. I love like that roof rack right there. Can you actually, is there straps or anything? No, you can't put no straps on there. But that would have been nice. Okay, here it is when you get in it, nothing happens. Okay, beacons. Nice rotating beacons. Two sets of lights. Turn signals. There is a lot of them. Okay, be quiet so you guys can hear the engine. Okay, there we go, right there. Uh, let's see, here is the interior when you turn it over. Lights, everything lights up. Okay, top speed is 42 miles an hour. I thought it was faster than that, actually, but I guess not. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's see. I do have the manual transmission, so I don't think it's going to make it. Unless it, kick it kicks in its after... No, it's not going to kick in its afterburners. 35, 38, and 42. We made it. So, not bad. Nice little Tatra right here. So this right here, guys, is the Tatra Phoenix. Oh yeah, here we go. The next new model we have for today is the Marshall BC32 from ETA. Let's see, 2.1 tons. Uh, let's see, $11,360. Design, you got standard design. You have back sideboard, and then back to standard. There is no auto load on this one. Design, you got without toolbox, toolbox, and then without toolbox. Wheel setup, you got standard. Wide tires, then back to standard. Main color, you got red, blue, black, or brown on that, and that is all the options on that one. Okay, the next after that one, we have the Profile Line Single Axle from Land Minch. Uh, of course, this is some slurry tanks for here. We got the Profile Line Vacuum version, the Screw Pump version, and the Combine. And then you got the distributor right there and a gooseneck distributor right there. Uh, let's see, 120 horsepower, 100 on that one, and 180 on that one. That's what is required. Uh, I think these all hold 14,000 liters. They do, nine miles an hour is the operating speed, and they hold, of course, like I said, uh, manure or well slurry or uh, digestate. Uh, let's see options on this one. Wow, there's a lot. We got Trailborg, Vridistine, Michelin, Nokian. Trailborg, you got standard or with steering axle. Uh, let's see Vridistine, standard or with steering axle. Michelin, you have the car, uh, the Carry X bib or with steering axle. Nokian, nursing tires normal or with steering axle. And then back to there. Uh, design, you got connection zero. You got connection zero plus the warning light, which puts a warning light back there. And then connection 90. Uh, connection 90 with the warning lights. And then back to connection zero. Standard work lights, wide working lights. Uh, let's see, attachers, you got standard. Three points, and then back to standard. Capacity without sanc uh, section arm. Uh, you got easy section arm. And then slidable section arm. And without suction arm right there again. Okay. Main color, you either got silver, you got orange, you got green, you got red, you got blue, and you got red too. Design color, you got white, black, or orange. And then, of course, your rim color, you got gray, chrome, black, or your orange on that. Uh, these are all probably pretty much the... Actually, I think these are exactly pretty much the same thing. Uh, screw pump on that one. Then, of course, you got the distributor right there, which you got the Moshe 7M, 9, 11... Uh, change the main colors, same colors as the other ones. Uh, let's see, this one right here doesn't. There's no choices on that one, but that's a pretty nice uh, slurry tanks right there. Next on the list, we have some nice plows right here from JA Modding. This is the series single offset disc. Our partner JA Modding. But anyways, we have the JD670 disc 3.94. We have the 4.78, the 5.95, and the 6.5. All the way ranging from 32,500. Well, actually, sorry. Ranging from 18,000 all the way up to 74,000 on here. And like I said, this is a plow. So the biggest one right here is this one, which requires 250 horsepower. And look at the detail on this thing. Uh, let's see. 6.2 tons, 250 horsepower is required. 6.5 working meters, 7 miles an hour is the operating speed, and $74,000. And this one is should be the smallest one, which is 4.8. Then this way, well, actually, this one is the smallest one. Huh. This one is the smallest one, but it is more expensive than that one. 
Wonder why. Okay, and then after that one, we have a new manure spreader. This is the Una Triton 6 from Keras. This holds 7,000 liters, 2.1 tons, 60 horsepower is required, four working meters, seven miles an hour is the operating speed, $15,250. Capacity, we got 7,000, 8,500, 10,000, and then back to there again. Cover, no, uh, yes on that. Nice little B cover right there. Uh, let's see, Will said we got standard, wide tires, wide tires two, wide tires three, and back to standard. Main color, you have any color you want. Design color, same thing. And then rim color, any color you want on that. After that one, we have a Hillian topper for potatoes. I mean, we just got the potato seeder. If you guys did not watch the live streams this weekend, we used that thing a lot. We did a lot of potatoes. I think we probably did about what? Maybe about eight to 10 hours of doing the potato factory. Love it, but it takes a long, long time. We still haven't even found out if it's actually worth it. So we actually have to sell some of our potatoes very soon. But anyways, this is the Grimmy KS5400 from Mafu FS. 1.9 tons, 107 horsepower is required, six working meters. So not bad on that right there, six working meters. Uh, $23,000 and the rim color, you can change it to any color on that. Just wanna see something real quick. Okay, let's go right to here. Uh, where are we at? Let's go potatoes real quick. Okay, this one right here is 3.2. You see how much bigger this one is? This one's six meters. So this should make potatoes a lot faster. Okay, now the next one list we have is the Lizard Katrina. And this is from Mito Modding and JA Modding. This, it says it's a mulcher, so I think it is. <laughs> it is, let's see, 4.3 tons, 150 horsepower, nine working meters, 21 miles an hour. So if this does the same thing as mulching does, you're about to uh, do this really fast. 21 miles an hour, $25,000 on that. See, it is in the uh, mulcher category right here, but it says at the top, it is a cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing, so. Okay, now the next one, after getting the Perard pack earlier, well, this weekend, now we have another new mod. This is the Compact Sim. Let's see, this is a cultivator, 1.8 tons, does require 80 horsepower, six working meters, uh, eight miles an hour is the operating speed, and 16,450. There is no options on this one. Then next, another cultivator. This is the Lizard Cultivator from Puzzcap. Let's see, 465 kg, let's see, 75 horsepower required on that one. Three worker meters, nine miles an hour is the uh, operating speed, 3,850. You got roller, no, or yes on that. Main color, you have any, well, pretty much dark colors, it looks like. And then design color, any color right there. Then, we're not done on cultivators yet. Another one, this is the Lizard Tilling Set 2, uh, one. This is from Kanzi, 570 kilograms, uh, let's see, 48 horsepower is required, 2.1 working meters, nine miles an hour is the operating speed in $1,500. You got condition either new, oh, look at that used. Hmm, not bad on that, I like I like that used, if I would pick this, and plus it also goes down to $700 if it's used. Now after that one, this thing is definitely gonna be very useful. This is the Amazon ZGTS 10,001-2 from Fib7. This thing holds 18,500 liters, four, uh, four tons, 42 working width, 11 miles an hour, and let's see, it's $85,000. Real brand, you got Trollborg, Michelin, Continental, Veridistein. Trollborg, you got Standard or Narrow. Uh, it's probably gonna be the same thing with each of these. Gotta have those narrow tires when we're fertilizing. Uh, main color, you have any color you want on that. So if you want to have black, you can. Design color, any color. So if you wanted to have it like orange, now we got Halloween colors, uh, colors right there. And then, did there you go, Halloween right there. Rim color, any color. But the cool thing about this thing is, well, you can also do it with lime too, so. Okay, now the next and last new regular mod for all platforms for today is this one right here. This is the Hardy Mega 2200 from Didic 96. 2,200 liters, it can hold 1.9 tons, 24 uh, working with, 10 miles an hour is the operating speed, $35,000. There is no options on this one though, but this does, of course, liquid fertilizer or herbicide. Okay, let's get to the only placeable for today. Okay, so here is the only placeable for today, which is kind of weird since we've been getting so many placeables, but this is the biomass power plant from Vertex Design. The biomass power plant can be used to generate electricity, which will be sold directly. You can use wood chips or straw to generate electricity. Measurements is 36.5 by 18M, $160,000. Daily upkeep is $150. Fill types, wood chips, straw, round bales, and square bales on this. 
So we have a little bit of storage area right here, which you can turn on your shed lights. So it does, does have eyes, I mean eyes. It does have lights plus storage. Uh, then we go in here. This is probably where you dump it off right there. And then right over here is where you can see it in here. You see wood chips or straw. So you pick which one you're basically trying to do it with. And let's see, 750 makes 131 and 1500 makes 131 on that. And then of course it directly sells it. So where can you find this? Let's go over to here. Let's go under production, go all the way on, uh, all the way over on factories. And there it is right there and 300 C rotation on that. Okay, so that is all the new mods for all platforms for today. I'm going to have to say probably the two maps are probably my favorite for today. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Let's get to those updates now. Okay, here we are with the updates for all platforms. The first one we have is for the Bradner TR3800. What fix on this one? Decal fix and fix capacity. Okay, and then after that one, we have the Sugar Beet Processing Plant. What fixed on this one? Let's see. Activate Occluder, Mesh, and LOD system again. Then now the last update we have is for the Decorative Details Pack. What changed on this one? Added 21 new items, more realistic pricing, more, more, most objects are more expensive now. Deactivate a leveling for some objects and adjusted icon and descriptions to changes. So that is all the new mods and updates for all platforms. Let's take a look at the PC only ones now. Okay, so here we go with the PC only ones. The first one we have is the MTZ Belarus 1523, and this is from Bear Farm. 155 horsepower, manual transmission, 250 liters of fuel, 22 miles an hour, 6.4 tons, $45,000. Hitch configuration, you got standard hitch, you got the 50 kilogram front weight, the 450 kilogram front weight, 900, ooh, wow, that's double. Uh, front attachments, I love the look. You see those details on there? There's a lot of detail on this one. Uh, Will Brand, you got, I don't even know how to pronounce that. We got Star Max, uh, you got Standard, you got Spacer, you got Rear Twin Wheels, Twin Wheels, Twin Wheels 2. Uh, let's see, with this one, you got Narrows, Rear Narrows, Narrow Twin Wheels, and then back to Narrow. Uh, reverse Driving, yes or no on that. Hood, Option 1, Option 2, Option 3. Uh, love how it changes like everything on that. Uh, ST Wheel, Option 1, 2, I don't know what that actually does. Decal, we have no or option one. Option two, uh, let's see, exhaust, option one, option two, option three, option four, five, six. Uh, let's put that, let's put it at that one right there. Number, option one, two, how, how high does this go? All the way up to 10. Uh, windshield design, no or option one. Option two, option three, option four, option five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all up to ten options on that one. Let's put it like I like this one right here. Uh, plumage color, pretty much any reds or oranges you can really think of. Uh, seat cover, you got grays, brown, or that one. Uh, plastic cover, the same thing. And then rim color, pretty much the same thing on that one. So let's go ahead and get this really quick. This is a really nice tractor though. Okay, so let's get in it real quick. Nothing happens when you get in. Uh, lights. Five sets of lights, wow. Turn signals. Uh, no beacons on there. Okay, so let me turn the engine over. I'm be quiet so you can hear it. Not bad. Here's the interior when you turn it over. Everything all lights up. Dashboard all lights up. Okay, let's see. Top speed is 24 miles an hour. Let's see if we can hit it before we hit the wall. I don't know. Nope, I don't think so. Nope. Oh, this thing actually hits 25. Uh, anything on here? Yes, you can actually. Let's see. What does this do? Okay, I'm trying to do. Oh, okay. So you can actually hire that right there. And of course, change driving direction. There we go, right there. And back to this way. Hmm. 
I really like this tractor. So that right there, guys, the MTC Belarus. After that one, we have the Royer Seed Hopper. This is from Agri Design Modding. This thing holds up to 2,000 liters, $950 in design. Yeah, mitts. Yeah, I can't even say anything. So either you can put the chute on there or not. So if you put a chute on there, you can put this thing with seeds and like put this thing like on a front loader or whatever, as you see right there. The pallet thing right there, you can put that on there and then put this above your cedar and you can refill it. So pretty nice thing like right here. But anyways, that is that. Let's go over and take a look at the mod hub at some of the scripted mods right here. Okay, so the first scripted mod we have right here is the Universal Auto Load. This is from Loki79. Auto loading specialization for flatbed trailers. This automatically modifies the actual base game trailers and will be applied to any new or existing trailers on your farm. Uh, but anyways, features, loads any compatible pallet container type, installed automatically on any compatible trailers, load and unload by selecting material or container type, can also restrict loading to full pallets only, uh, select all to load mix type and sequence, mixed pallets are loaded in size order for the best packing efficiency and can interact with the trailers when player is on foot. So that is amazing right there. Also, you get special features for the Crone Trailer Profile Liner. Uh, load, unload only available on the side that curtain is open. Rear loading directly from the forklift and rear door and curtain can be opened and closed by player on foot. So you can actually go up to your trailer and actually open it. Wow. After that one, we had the license plate manager. This is from the course play dev team. Uh, this one only enables one vehicle with a given license plate at the same time. Also added a window in the license plate configuration menu where all used license plates are listed. Huh? Yeah, I've, I've been actually noticing that on our, on our Nebraska map. It actually has the same license plate on like all of our vehicles. So it'd be nice if like every single time you buy one, it changes up the license plate. And then after that one, we have the Transport Missions Elm Creek from MMTRX. Uh, this says, if you missed the simple transport missions from earlier game versions, you should try this mod. It generates transport missions that can be chosen in the contracts menu, in addition to the field work job. Only works for the standard Elm Creek map yet. So yet, so it might be changing later on. And then now the last one that I've been saying that we needed is Bell Count System from Game Master. This mod does something very easily, guys. It just counts any dropped bales from a baler, and you can also reset it too. So that right there is all the PC only ones. We did get one update to go over for PC only, so let's go over that update real quick. And that update was for store deliveries. What did it fix on this one? Fixed multiplayer support. So that is every single mod that came out. Not bad for a Monday. What's left to go over? That testing list. So let's roll that testing list, and let's get to that intro. Here we go. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Not a bad day to start off a Monday. Today's schedule, I have two other videos coming out, but no live streams. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, if you guys did, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. Have a good day. Peace. Now my wheel.